Jong Yoo Mi is a Korean actress, known for her work in the highly praised Korean movies Silenced, My Dear Desperado, and Shaw. But there's truly so much more to her and her filmography than just K-dramas. Unbound by genres and powered by versatility, she has impressed fans and critics alike with her body of work. She's earned nominations and awards for projects ranging from superhero and zombie flicks to rom-com, melodrama, and even feminist-focused pieces. She founded her career on short films, art house productions, experimental projects, and festivals. No doubt, she is a force to be reckoned with in creative circles. Curious to know more about this leading lady? Here are 10 facts to know about one of South Korea's most talented stars, Jong Yoo Mi. She's been in the business for more than 15 years. She began her acting career in 2004. As early as then, she showed promise in bringing difficult to portray characters to life, something that would come to be a career signature of sorts for her. She didn't have to wait for long to be discovered by the right people, considering her first ever full length film, Blossom Again, earned her critical acclaim. The film charted the path for her career's future and quickly propelled her to one of Korea's most popular indie actresses and one of the few whose work has gained attention in international film festival. She has more movies than K-dramas. Jong Yoo Mi studied film major at Seoul Institute of the Arts. If you're looking for her starter pack, we suggest you concentrate on her films first. Check her out in Family Ties, My Dear Desperado, Oki's Movie, Arsani, Train to Busan, The Table, Psychokinesis, and Kim Ji Young Born 1982. All of those films have earned her acting nominations and awards, and they show her range perfectly. As for K-dramas, you'll love her in I Need Romance 2012, Discovery of Love, Live, and The School Nurse Files. Her films mostly fall under the slice of life genre. Her body of work mostly has her starring in slice-of-life films, projects that focus on intimate looks on little pockets of society, domestic life, a family's inner workings, or a single character's personal journey. That's not to say that she's been typecast, she's beloved for her versatility. It's her consistency that's earned her praise, as she delivers beautiful performances regardless of what genre she's working on, be it an adaptation, a drama, a zombie flick, fantasy, romance, or comedy. She was reminded of other people around her while playing Kim Ji Young. Kim Ji Young, born 1982, is based on the best selling novel of the same name that tells the story of a woman named Kim Ji Young who was born in 1982, recounting the experiences and ordinary life of Kim Ji Young as someone's daughter, wife, mother, and co worker. Because the book addresses feminism, which is a highly divisive topic in Korea, it has been at the center of controversy for some time. During the film press conference, the actress explained why she chose to star in the film, saying, I'm not married, nor have I ever raised a child. Instead of relating to the character, I was reminded of other people around me. I felt sorry, because I thought that I might have looked away from their problems with an excuse of being busy, and I also wanted to understand their feelings. Following the news that confirmed her participation in the film, many netizens left malicious comments on her social media and rated the film with zero stars on major portal sites such as Naver. Regarding the negative feedback, the actress shared, it didn't put pressure on me in any way. I was thinking more about participating in making the story that I've chosen, turning it into a great production, and sharing it. She chose to star in The School Nurse Files because of her character's swear word. In a promotion of her 2020k drama The School Nurse Files, she revealed the reason why she chose to star in the Netflix's drama. Beside of the director, she chose to star in the drama because of her character's swear words. I said, because I like this dialogue, so I choose this drama. She learned a little Muay Thai and Judo. On the July 31 episode of TVN's Summer Vacation, she headed to a Muay Thai gym near the vacation house. She said, I learned a little Muay Thai from No J Gill and Soul. I learned Judo while preparing for the drama live. I want to keep both my body and mind healthy, so I looked up gyms in the area. She soon bonded with the gym owner because they were both from the Busan area. However, she was not able to take lessons because of the gym owner's limited time. She buys a new bottle of perfume on every vacation. During an interview with Allure, she shared that whenever she go travels abroad, she buys a new bottle of perfume as soon as she gets there. Then she just wore that perfume for the rest of her trip. She explained her reason by adding, when I smell that perfume after a long time following the trip, it reminds me of all the memories from that place. Perfumes are memories for me. She also dabbles in photography. 
In line with her love for anything creative and soulful, she has taken it upon herself to explore other avenues of expressing her artistry. When looking through the lens, she often captures subjects during their nature and urban views. She's a style chameleon. Speaking of her versatility, the same goes for her sense of style. She is a chameleon, almost literally. She's unafraid to dive deep headfirst into a character and goes all out in the necessary preparations to bring them to life, even if that means chopping inches of her hair, sporting deep red lipstick, or not makeup at all, donning a whole new wardrobe, or foregoing anything fashionable. She and Gong Yu. The actress is a favorite on-screen partner of Gong Yu and they worked in the same management agency. They've starred together in films Silenced, Train to Busan, and Kim Ji Yong Born 1982. The two were also reported to join the star-studded cast of the 2021 film Wonderland. In January 2018, there was a rumor regarding Gong Yu and Zhang Yu Mi's upcoming wedding ceremony. Their agency responded and denied the rumor, and an unknown source from their agency added that Gong Yu and Zhang Yu Mi were like siblings and Gong Yu treated her like a younger sister.